Hi, I'm Kathy from Holati Love Tech Support, and today I'm going to show you how to change a group gasket on a Gaja semi-automatic machine. Uh, you want to do it about once a year, or if you start to leak around the portafilter when you're brewing, that's when you're definitely going to want to change your group gasket. These are the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a 5mm Allen wrench or Allen key. You're going to need a number two Phillips screwdriver. This is actually, you need a short one because there's not a lot of space to work with. This is actually a little multi-tool I got at the hardware store. You're going to need a cleaning brush. You can use an old toothbrush, but this group head cleaning brush works great because it has a good angle on it to get up in the group head. And you're going to need a new group gasket, which is available on our website. Now, if you run into trouble, you might want to have some other tools handy. This is a little hook. It can help you get the group gasket out if it's really stuck. This is a long, thin, flat blade screwdriver. You might need that to help you pry out a stuck shower holding plate. And another tool that you can use to help you with the shower holding plate is a little pair of needle nose pliers. Sometimes you can stick it in the holes, turn it if you need to. And another thing that you can do, again, if you have a stuck group gasket, is you can take a little screw and screw it right into the group gasket and then help uh, pull it out of there with these little pliers. So after you've got all your tools ready, now you're going to take the machine apart a little bit. Take off the lid. You're also going to take this little duct out, just pull it out. And the drip tray. And you're also going to want to take out the water tank. So we're going to lay the machine on its back. And then just lay it on its back. The first thing you're going to need to do is locate the shower screen screw. It's right in the dead center. It's just a regular number two Phillips screw. You can use a short Phillips screwdriver, but this tool I found is pretty handy. And then just take it out. Sometimes the screw will stick. And in that case, you might want to use a little WD-40 to help you get it out of there. And there it is. Ta-da! Next, if the screen doesn't fall out on its own, you can kind of pull it out with a flat screwdriver. And this is actually in pretty good condition. The next thing you're going to do is take your 5 millimeter Allen key. And there's two 5 millimeter Allen bolts, and you're going to remove those. And the shower holding plate should just fall right out. This is another thing that can stick. And what you can do is if it's really stuck in there, you get the two bolts out and it's still stuck in there like that, you can actually take a screwdriver and pry it out of there. Or if it's really stuck, you can actually take a pair of needle nose pliers, stick the two little ends in there and turn it and it'll come loose. And there you have it. Now to remove the group gasket. Sometimes the group gasket can be really stuck in there. A lot of times you can just use a little hook like this, peel it out of there, see that? But if it's really stuck, what you can do is take just a little pointed screw like this, screw it right into the rubber. And don't worry, you can't hurt the group head, it's all brass. Take a pair of pliers and then just pull really hard and a really stuck group gasket will come right out. So we're just going to use our hook because this one's not in there that hard. Pull that right out of there and you can see the difference between an old one and a new one. You can see the little worn ring and that's why they begin to leak. Then, you're going to make sure that your group head is all clean. You can use your cleaning brush again. Make sure the area where the new group gasket is going to go is nice and clean. And slide the new group gasket in place. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to put the shower holding plate back. So you've cleaned up all the group head, looks nice and new. The easiest way to do it is actually put this in there. And then line it up with the hole. You can see it just protrudes just a little bit. It's lined up. Tighten it back up in there. You don't want to do it too tight, but you don't want to do it loose either, so make sure it's nice and snug. And now that that one's in, you can put this other one in. Shower holding plate done. Now, the shower screen, there's only one way it can go on. So this part that looks like a grid is going to be the part that you don't see. Then you just take your shower screen screw, put it in the middle. It's kind of short. Careful not to drop it. Then you're going to take your little screwdriver, tighten it up. Again, not too tight, but not too loose either because you don't want to strip the, strip the uh, head. There you go. So now that you've assembled everything, you're going to sit the machine up, and we're going to put it back together. 
first water tank. Make sure you get the tubes up in there. Put your lid on for the water. Then your drip tray. Your tube. And that's it. You're all set. You're ready to brew again. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. I'm Kathy from Tech Support. Thanks for watching. Whole Latte Love is your source for expert coffee information with more than 200 videos including how-tos, recipes, machine comparisons, maintenance and more. Join us on Facebook for more expert advice and coffee lovers fun. Hi, I'm Kathy from Whole Latte Love Tech Support and today I'm going to show you how to change a group gasket on a Gaja semi-automatic machine. Uh, you want to do it about once a year, or if you start to leak around the portafilter when you're brewing, that's when you're definitely going to want to change your group gasket. These are the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a 5mm Allen wrench or Allen key. You're going to need a number 2 Phillips screwdriver. This is actually, you need a short one because there's not a lot of space to work with. This is actually a little multi-tool I got at the hardware store. You're going to need a cleaning brush. You can use an old toothbrush.